goes your first double double at Virginia Tech. What, what does that mean to you? Just the, the game you had and whatnot today. <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy for it. I'm excited for it. But, I mean, the double-double wouldn't be there if it wasn't for, like, my teammates seeing me and dropping it down and just being connected with one another. I feel like it just shows, like, the grit and the hard work that we put in, how, like, how it carries over to the game and just us being locked in. It just shows, like, what difference a person or, like, the team can make. Karis, over the, the second, third, and fourth quarters, you guys held them to 30%. What did you like about your defense today? Um, I mean, yeah, I think everyone just locked into personnel. Obviously, we knew that they had two really good players. The whole team was, was really solid, but they had two pretty good girls. So we wanted to hold them, you know, to a certain standard, and we wanted to hold ourselves to a certain standard on defense. And I think all week we've been working on that, and that's usually a major emphasis we have is our defense and just, like, having that intensity. So I think um, Mac came in, obviously, um, and just had that intensity again that we need from her every time she comes off the bench. Um, but I think everyone did a really good job of just knowing personnel and holding everyone to their, to what they had. Question on the right. Uh, Miles Jordan, Tech Lunch Pail. Rose, you were everywhere tonight, especially on the rebounding. You had 11 rebounds, but a lot of them came on the offensive side. You were able to kind of get a lot of putbacks, and that where a lot of your points came from. Um, just when that comes out, how do you kind of just place yourself and you're able to be in the right area to kind of grab that rebound? <laughs> I feel like with a lot of my old boards, just being in the right spot at the right time, I feel like there's a lot of times where I got it off the glass, but then if it wasn't for, like, Karis or Lonnie or Carly, like, tipping the ball and me going to get it, like, a lot of my rebounds wouldn't be there. So if it wasn't for some of my teammates, a lot of rebounds wouldn't have been got. Hi, Luke Baran for 33 or 4. You guys were able to really score effortlessly against man and zone. Uh, how does that speak to how dynamic your offense is? Um, yeah, I think we just have a lot of people that – you know, like can go off in, in any type of night. Like I think Rose tonight, she was, or today was awesome for us. Um, so I think it just like depends on like what the defense is giving us. We're um, a very versatile team. So obviously we can go inside. We have a lot of shooters. We have a lot of guards that are quick um, off the dribble. Um, so I think it, we just know each other really well. So I think it's really, it's good to move the ball around and just see what everyone's going to do with it. And Rose took advantage of it tonight. Let's go on the right side. Ryan Duvall, Tech Lunch Pail. Um, every player that touched the court uh, today scored. What does that speak about your guys' depth as a team? Um, it just shows how, like, how important everyone is on our team. It shows how deep we can go. It shows that all 11 of us are a threat on the court, um, inside and out. We got Ramai, who got her first you know, collegiate points. We love that. But it just shows freshman to sophomore to junior to senior. Like, everyone here has a role, and they play it to a very extraordinary level. Back to room, Cole. Back to back games now where there was an emphasis on taking charges. Karis took a couple. Mackenzie had a couple more. Sort of what does that look like in being able to shuffle the feet? Active hands, I think you had six steals as well, sort of ratcheting it up on the defensive end of the floor. Um, yeah, I think we have like a little bit of a competition during practice on who can take like charges and stuff. So I think honestly that competition in practice goes into games and I think it's more fun in games because we can celebrate that but like during practice it's it's just a competition who can get the most charges who can get the most deflections steals um so I think it it correlated to this game and last game obviously Mac took a lot of charges too um so I think it's just reading who we're guarding and just seeing that but then I also just think it's practice wise it's what we usually do during practice so we just translate it into a game Uh, Karis, uh, Lonnie, you know, she hadn't made a three coming into tonight. I know, I know she's, she's a pretty good shooter. She got two down mm -hmm. for her confidence. How, how big do you think that is just to just, just make both of her, her shots? Yeah, I think that's huge. I mean, we do have – like, Lonnie's a great shooter, and I know she's been frustrated a little bit about her shots not falling, but we always tell her just to keep shooting. Like, that's what shooters do. Um, and so it was really good to see them fall finally because you work so – a person like Lonnie who works so hard, she comes into the gym all the time. She's working with her assistant coaches all the time. Everyone really is. But I think Lonnie obviously has been working really hard this week, and so to see it today fall for her finally and then on the defensive <laughs> And she was really good for us too. Um, she just had an overall really good game. Rose, what's impressed you about Kale? Maybe her, maybe it's on the floor, off the floor, but just her maturity. It seems like it, it's coming really easy for her. Yeah, I would say that too. I feel like it's everything's coming very easily. I feel like she's really. I feel like we're saying role a lot, but <laughs> it's the word to be used. I feel like she's really like getting into her role. She's a really good role player for us. Like she brings a lot of 
energy and intensity for us. But then it's also, I love that as a freshman, she's showing how much of a threat she can be inside the post and on the perimeter, just kicking out to her or just finding her inside. Like it just shows that even on offense and on defense, she's going to be a good threat on the O boards, on de like getting stops. Like we know we can use her in a lot of areas, and she's really going to help us in the season. Back on the right, Miles. Rose, you mentioned role just now, and after Wednesday night's game, Carly kind of mentioned that same thing about stepping in and filling a role. How important is it for you guys to all be able to kind of fill that role in Megan Duffy's offense and defense and just kind of be able to work together as a team? I feel like right now at the moment, um, well, it's not just, not just us, but like every team out there, everyone is still trying to figure out like what their identity is, what the culture of their team is, and like everyone is trying to figure out a role. But I feel like here, everyone is starting to learn it. And when we get deeper into the season, Everyone playing the role is going to play a huge part because when we get a game where everyone is having an uh, amazing night and we all are playing our roles where we know who our defenders are and we can get stops up on on top court, back court. I don't know what the saying is for that, but, you know, both sides of the court, back court. But just knowing that everyone can play the role can really play a huge role, a huge part for us. Definitely. Karis, you were really able to stretch the floor tonight. You were able to knock down two threes, but also kind of score inside and also be very versatile on defense. How important is it just to be able to play on every kind of aspect of the game and, and show up for your team? Yeah, um, I think we talked about it a lot, just like knowing the role. And I've been working with Coach Duffy a lot um, and Coach Jen this summer and in the off season and preseason just on becoming more versatile, um, being able to shoot the three, but then also being able to work in the paint as well when I have like the advantage. I'm uh, obviously taller than a lot of people that guard me, so just being able to be back to the basket as well, that was something that was kind of uncomfortable for me in the beginning, but um, I'm definitely getting more comfortable having my back to the basket um, and then also just being able to be on the perimeter and create for my guards as well. Um, so I think it's it's been a major emphasis, and I'm obviously still working on, you know, my post game and my handles. But yeah. Close it out over here with David. Yeah. What for either of you guys? What did you like about your offense tonight? It felt like it, it flowed pretty well. I know you guys had some turnovers early, but it felt like you guys limited those. Did you like kind of how things flowed for you guys tonight? Um, yeah, I would say on the offensive side. I really did like how things flow, like when we ran plays or even when we were running plays and the first option wasn't there, we were still able to get into our second and third and fourth option. It was really good to know that everyone was in the right spot at the right time and we know we can just communicate. And even, if there, even if there was turnovers, like our team is full of like with a lot of maturity and people that's taken accountability for if a turnover happens, like it's going to be a point, a high five, like someone's going to say something about it and all we can do, every, every time all we do is just talk about it and we move on from it because the only thing that matters is the next best action.